the most important advice I would give colleagues thinking of teaching in this space, and actually something I should listen to myself, should I teach there again, is you really need to go in there with a concrete task and with somebody who knows the technology and maybe another teacher, and you need to just do some play with it. But you have to be Un unhurried, the technology needs to be working, and you need somebody that knows the technology and somebody knows the, that knows the pedagogy and what the expected outcomes are. So that's really what I tried to do the first term, but the technology wasn't working at the time because the classroom wasn't officially open yet. And then I never went back to do that, and I regretted that the whole term, but I never made the time to, to go back and do that. So really practicing the task and with other teachers would be ideal because maybe they could say, oh, you should try this, or I tried this and it worked really well. So I think there's so many different things you can do in there, and I know I was only just scratching the surface. The advice that I would give to colleagues, first of all, is to get to know the technology. Uh, it is, uh, there's a lot of, uh, uh, technical uh, gadgets in the classroom uh, and uh, if you are not fully familiar with them you're going to feel a little bit intimidated you may not use as much as you would otherwise so getting to know uh, them in advance is uh, I think a really important uh, thing uh, to do uh, the other thing is I think is you, it's a good idea to ask the students how they would like to use the classroom uh, so get them involved in thinking about things that they might want to do in the class. If I had to give any advice to my colleagues, uh, there'd be a couple of points, unfortunately. Unfortunately, one of the key pieces of advice is to ignore the technology that's in there. Um, I found personally that the technology uh, that was uh, uh, equipped in that particular class classroom tended to get in the way rather than enhance uh, any of the teaching and learning that went on in that classroom. Um, a couple of simple examples. It seemed like over the course of the semester, the smart board worked uh, less than it, uh, than it didn't work. So in other words, most of the time it didn't seem to be operating correctly. When it was operating co correctly, often me or one of my students would be displaying something, some PowerPoint on it, and to try to expand on a point, they would place their hand on the board, and then what would happen, of course, is the PowerPoint would, ad would advance, exactly the opposite of what, uh, what was desired. I think the advice I would give to people in uh, teaching in, in Tory 431 that is a little bit different about that room is that it is a bit of a different um, dimension uh, from what you are used to teaching in. Most classrooms are relatively narrow and deep. Uh, Tory 431 is relatively shallow and very broad. So if you tend to be a person who is relatively wooden and stay close to the, um, uh, the computer and desk and lectern area, um, I would encourage you to get away from that. And even if you're doing relatively standard type lecture uh, delivery in your, in your course in that room, be much more uh, mobile and, and move around um, uh, to engage the students because the students who are on the uh, right and left side of the room are really out of your periphery. Um, and so you, you need to, to move around and look around to really draw them in and keep them engaged. Well, this kind of room is really beneficial if you're trying to get students engaged and to get them to talk to each other, talk um, with the professor and not just listen. 
So for if it's just a lecture class, this room is not going to enhance it really because um, if you're the one doing all the talking and they're just looking at you, it actually might not be a great situation because sometimes their backs are towards that part of the room. So if somebody wants to use this room, it's because they want to get students engaged with each other, with the material, um, with the professor, and really it becomes communication and talking about the information that you're trying to get people to learn.